of Jad Fleshies. <laughs> okay, but you can see that I need to talk to just oh is that nope it's not an NPC Like she enjoys her job. Oh no, what do I do? It's all gone wrong. It's wrong. I'm supposed to be cooking a cake for the cake off, but my prize to earn has broken. My prize to earn has broken. Okay, what's the cake off? Oh, you don't know about the great game in our cake It's as it eats the newest idea. Is invited representatives from across the world to have their baking skills judged. Where are you? Oh, I'm Patty Sue. I'm wandering. I'm 
stairs along the road, and learning everything I can about food. You prize the tin? Yes, I use it for every cake I bake. Brings me luck. What's happened to it? I'm not sure. But, but it's, I'm not sure how, but it's broken in two. Do you think you might be able to help me? Yes. I'm sure I can find someone to fix it. How do you you get broke in the cake tin? What about Bob? You think he can fix it? Yes, I'd imagine he can. Not to mention he owes me one. Take this to him. No, it should cover the cost of the repair. You should be able to find him in his shop to the south. Okay, the cookie ends you up a promissory note. Okay. It's slightly less useful for eating cake. <laughs> He's still a written note for Bob. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the current event. Patty is likely to know more than me. Try to check him to her. Spoken to Bob yet? No, not yet. Where's Bob? Okay, I know. I think I know which. Bob. He's talking about. I think I remember which Bob he's talking about. Talking about the one. Yeah. Net. Net. Could you fix this tin for me? I could. It will be expensive, though. The cook mentioned that you owe him a favor. I hope the id has forgotten that by now. He gave me this note and said it would cover the cost. He showed a note to Bob. Yes, that should do it. And that's tin over here then. Bob takes the tin and begins to hammer it back into shape. And uh, 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 offers you a completed cake tin. There you go. Good enough. No. Well, there's just something great about Lumbridge tin. Okay, shiny tin for shiny cake.
Which player is still... I don't know. Was Bob able to repair the tin? Yes, he did it without too much trouble. The hand uh, repaired the tin over to Patty. Oh, it looks brand new. Uh, now, is there a chance you may be able to help find my hat? Your hat? Yes, my lucky hat. It was stolen by a goblin. It can't have gotten very far by now. Why would a goblin want to steal your hat? I'm not sure. Could you chase it down to find out? Of course. Try me at a general store. I heard there was a goblin lurking there. Okay, so... This event is going to remain contained within Lumbridge, right? That goblin is wearing a hat. Test the beat. A goblin fire looks fierce. Hello there, that's a nice hat you've got. Yes, it's my cooking hat. Where did you get it? Found it in the castle. Fit my head perfectly. It may do, but I, I need to return it to its owner. Without hat, I not chef. Watch for 10 years how to cook in castle. Now my turn. I, I may have an idea. Why don't you go and talk to Patty Sear in the castle? She could help you be a chef. You think she help? Of course. She would probably love to learn about goblin cuisine from you. The goblin stares at you, trying to process your words. Things like food and drinks. She learn from me. The goblin starts to move quickly towards the castle. That was easy. So you can you probably noticed by now that I've changed it into a priest outfit and and a black party hat. So you're the one that took my hat, are you? Yes, needed to be chef. You needed to be a chef? That's absurd. Anyone can be a chef if they want to be. No, chef hat, always. Well, I suppose I can let you keep that hat. It's always at me. Good luck. I keep lucky warm hands. 
of course it is. You know what an every chef if it does need to do? Wear a hat? Oh yes, but what else? Cook. Warm hands can cook. Warm hands can indeed cook. Uh, uh, to begin to talk about baking a cake for the cake off. A significant amount of mess and noise later. Oh, that looks incredible. I, I learned 10 years from watching cook and have a, a lucky hat. You've clearly learned a lot in that time. Watching not good like doing. So, do you have angel? What do you think? If he shows you the cake that you baked. That is a good looking cake. Is it ready to go to the cake off? I think so. It needs to be delivered to Party Pete in Falador. You mind taking it to him? I'd be happy to. I can offer her you a one-time teleport to the party room if you would like. Uh, yeah, it's much faster than walking. That would be useful, thanks. Remember, this needs to get to party Pete. I'll, uh, let you, uh, I'll get you as close as possible, but this is an imprecise art. Imprecise? Don't worry, I've done this before, once or twice. I'm glad Pete didn't ask us to bake a cake. Mixing wizards and baking... <laughs> Is a recipe for disaster. A thing of known children. A known child has done a fantastic job at the at baking this. It's more and more efficient name cook. It's the gnome child's entry to the bake oh Okay, the gnome child's entry to the cake off. It's not really a cake. I have reinvented the meaning of a cake. Observe the exceptional textures of the crunchy. Okay, I, I think I can see them. Excellent. I am very proud of this cake, even if it accidentally rolled back into the oven. It looks entirely burnt. Is there no time to make another one? I have no idea what you mean. It seems perfectly edible. At least his crown looks like a party hat. Varox entry to with a, a cake off. It's been burnt. It's been burned. I probably
You just come ready to party. Cake should be red. Big high war gods to ASO. He's ready to fight his way to first place. Cake should be green. Green good. It's not easy to first. It's the goblin entry to the cake of. Looks like it's made from chocolate. It probably isn't. It's only meant to look like chocolate. This is an M. Condo favorite cooked to perfection. It looks like a pie. Yes, it's a red berry pie. Have you ever eaten one before? Oh, I can't remember. I'm sure it's delicious. It's the dwarf entry to the cake of. Looks a lot more like a pie than anything. Perhaps it's an illusion cake. There's a thing or two about baked goods. It's not the most culinary of types. Pie uh, it might just about meet the criteria. Pete, I have Lumbridge's entry to the cake off here. You shall beat the cake. Oh, that's perfect. Just in time for the judging, too. Great. And don't mind the goblin. They're one of the chefs. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Now there's a couple of things I need to know about this cake. Such as... Firstly, was anything inedible baked into it? I don't believe so, no. Pete notes down information about the cake on a small card. Secondly, may I hold on to it until the judging is over? Of course. You hand the cake over to Pete. Now then, N I could use your help. P of sorting out a slight problem. Oh? Sadly, door uh, over there has had some problems. Has had some trouble with the everlasting candle. Can't get it to light. That's certainly one way to make it last forever. Unfortunately, an unlit candle is not entirely celebratory. Do you want me to ask him what the problem is? If you wouldn't mind. Pete said you were having trouble getting the candle to light. Just a little trouble, nothing to worry yourself with. Are you sure? The candle is quite important to the celebrations, according to Pete. I, I've tried just about everything, and it just won't light. Even magic? Just checking, what uh, haven't you tried? Is there something I could find for you? Dragonfire is just about the only thing left to try. I'm not sure we have the time to find a dragon, though. Okay, then. I'll let Pete know we may be at a loss with the candle.
the update on the candle? Said we do said it may need uh, uh, dragon fire to be lit. Dragon fire, eh? I don't like where this is going. I did send out an invitation to the dragon, Elvarg. I, I, I haven't yet heard back. That's a shame. Keep hope, though. I've heard that dragons aren't the best communicators. Lots of fire involved. Oh, my fingers are crossed. Especially if we need one to light the candle. Well, at least that's... Uh, uh, that is sorted as it can be. Absolutely. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, there is actually. Are all the cakes ready for judging? Uh, yes, they are. Great. Are you ready to get on your way? Yes. Welcome, everyone, to the inaugural Great Gillenor Cake Off. The cakes are ready, and I hope you are too. You are client viewers. We've got five cakes to judge today, so let's get right into it. First up, we have Fugo and his Encanto Dwarf Cake. Or is it more of a pie? Pete takes a bite of the Dwarf Cake before taking a moment to think. It's definitely a pie, but it is delicious. I I'm glad you like it. I can give you the recipe if you want. Uh, it's very kind, but could it not have been a cake? No, it's important that it remains uh, as a pie. Next up, the Goblin Cake from Bent Nose and Wart Face. On first appearances, it looks good, rich and chocolatey. Hmm, that doesn't taste like chocolate. What is it? It's mud. Mud? Mud. Okay, moving on swiftly to... The loud beating of wings can be heard over a Pete's voice. A dragon? Look out! Quick, cut the feed. A scrying orb is quickly covered up, leaving just an audio feed of the event. Everyone gets down. The sound of dragonfire can be heard over Pete's microphone. I think it's over. Can we get that orb back up? I think we're back. Well, folks, that was a, an unexpected interruption to our show today. Unfortunately, we're going to have to cut things short to clean up. Before we go, I'd like to give a massive thanks to everyone who helped to get us here today. Until next time, this has been a great Gilman Oak Cake Horse. That I lost. I explicitly told Pete that I didn't want to lose. Very good. I have achieved everything that I set out to achieve. His fault we lose. No style. His fault we lose. No taste.
Ricky. I can't uh, uh, say uh, I'm surprised. It was a risk making a pie. Would you consider cooking something more appropriate? On disrespect, fine dwarven cuisine? I would never. So, how we do? You know, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask Pete. I can't believe that the dragon's invitation reached them. I didn't think you were serious about inviting them. Of course I was serious. I wanted them to bring a cake. Well, I don't think w uh, I don't think anybody was hurt. At least the candle, it's lit. So it is. It was nice Elvag game, although she could have been a, a little less dangerous about announcing her presence. Where does this leave the competition? Hmm, Rold's cake was already burnt, and the gnome child's cookies are, well, cookies, and the Lumbridge cake. Well, I uh, had that held safely away from the others. I'll give it a try now. Pete carefully tries out... Okay. Pete carefully tries part of the Lumbridge cake. What do you think? It's not made of mud, it's not burnt, and it's a good cake. D so, does this mean it's the winner? It does indeed. Congratulations. Warm hands would be pleased to hear that. So, I have good news. Good news? You won. Your cake was the best of the ones uh, Pete was able to taste. This mean I am chef now? Absolutely. One of the best. Is reward? I'm not sure. I'll go uh, and ask Pete. Warm Hands is very happy with the outcome, especially after so many years of wanting to be a chef. I'm glad to hear that. Do you know if, they b if they've baked anything before? No, I'd have to ask them. Well, after uh, that cake, it probably doesn't matter, as long as they keep aching from now on. And, of course, as part of the winning team, you should be rewarded. Okay. Uh, event complete. Great Gillenor cake off. Rewards. Dragon candle, old dagger, a birthday outfit, birthday plush, tenth birthday cape, tenth birthday balloons. Double digits. A cozy piece of old school memorabilia. A cape made from a certain in a no, red and gold banner. Where have I seen this before? Fashionable and delicious. Wait, who's wearing who in this situation? An 
adorable or plushie based on a familiar face? Is it based on a familiar face? No cats were harmed in the making of these slippers. A candle lit by the fire of a dragon. Silver body hat. A nice silver hat commemorating 10 years of old school runescape. Okay. Hey, look out, here comes Toast. Okay, Jad. Apparently, another part of the reward is the two banknotes for half full wine jugs. I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it. It does any damage. Okay, let's see if it, if it, the Yongo has is any. See if I if Yongo is any if it is is I can get from him from the previous anniversary event. to check all the items,
Looks like a cow's body. This is the 20th anniversary of Zoomscape as a woman. to move okay skis to help people move around in the desert a cursed banana which forces the, the, the individual to take on monkey like mannerisms A smile of very flat in the sea. Okay, but that looks looking good if I do say so myself. Um, anyway, that will be all for this video. See you all next time. Bye.